You heard about this Chris Carter thing, right? Video of him from 2014 surfaced. He was speaking at a rookie symposium. He told these rookies, these first timers in the NFL, you know, if you're out with your crew, have a fall guy in case you get in trouble. Let him go to jail. We'll get him out. You know, Chris Carter is an analyst on ESPN, and I'm just wondering now what else. He, he, he has a lot of information. I don't know what the, who the real Chris Carter is anymore. Is it the guy who gave the symposium speech? He probably was telling the truth about a reality in the league there, as appalling as it is. Or the guy that comes on ESPN every Sunday morning, and he's crying about, you know, issues. He's on his soapbox. I'm confused. I don't know who to believe. But I'll tell you this. One other thing about this whole Chris Carter situation, it just goes to show you these analysts on TV, these NFL analysts, they don't tell you everything. They're withholding stuff. You know, why didn't he talk about that on the air? As, as, as revolting as it might have been, it was a real look at life in the NFL. But you know what? Why is anybody surprised that these guys are phonies? You know, when they chronicle this 2015 season of the New York Mets, one of the highlights is going to be that shot of Wilmer Flores at a shortstop crying because he thought he was traded. <laughs> but now someone's trying to make money off of it. They're actually selling a picture of this for $69.95, I believe, some company. You know, I don't begrudge anybody making a buck, but let me put it to you this way. If you want to really have crass commercialism here, what they should do is, like, they sell those little things of dirt from Yankee Stadium, sell little bottles of his Wilmer's Real Tears. Huh, you could make more money with that. It'd be more realistic. Sell the tears. Why, not, why just the picture? Be real. Give us some real waterworks. What a shock. I'm stunned that players get injured in the NFL preseason. I'm listening to all these people talk about it as if it just is a new occurrence. This guy, Jordy Nelson, the great wide receiver of the, of the Green Bay Packers, just went out with an injury. He's out for the season. There's other guys that are hurt. But people whine about it. They cry. They, oh, let's reduce the number of uh, preseason games, that kind of stuff. But they present it as if it's a new phenomenon. It goes on all the time. It happens every year. And it's a story. I realize they got to fill the dog days of training camp. But you know what? It's old stuff. You know, get creative. Do something else. I don't know what to do. But I'm tired of this preseason injuries baloney. I'm back. I'm, I'm back from my week in exile. They exiled me out of this place. So I wasn't able to go and look at my mail this week. But I'm uh, asking everybody that wants to get involved in this to do the emails, the tweets. Send it right here to me. Do, say whatever you want. I really don't care what you say about me. I'll respond to it. You know, but let it flow. Let's have a dialogue here, okay? Now, one other thing, one last thing I want to leave you with is get out of here.